here's some more algebra for you. In this case, we're going to be talking about simplifying rational expressions. And just to remember uh, what rational expressions are, these are expressions, algebraic expressions, meaning not equations. That means there's no equal sign anywhere. These are simply algebraic expressions that are written in a fraction form with a numerator and a denominator. So that's what they are. And simplifying means that we're looking for common factors in the numerator and the denominator so we can simplify the expression. We can cancel out things in the numerator and the denominator. All right, looking at our first one here, we see a 35 and a 42. Uh, they're both divisible by 7. Okay, I see an n square and an n square, and I see a y cube and a y cube. So the n square in the numerator cancels out the n square in the denominator, and the y cube here cancels out the y cube there. And 35 divided by 7 is 5, and 35, uh, 42 divided by 7 is 6. So this can then be simplified to 5a divided by 6b. All right, let's look at the second one. We have an x cubed here and an x squared. So I can then divide x cubed by x squared, and I'm left with an x, and this is simplified to just a 1. I have a y in the numerator, no y's in the denominator, so I leave that alone. I have a z to the fourth and a z cubed here. So z to the fourth cancels out to a z, z cubed cancels out to a 1. Then I have a 20 and a 4. 4 goes into 25 times, so I divide the numerator by uh, 4, I get a 5. Divide the denominator by 4, I get a 1. I can't forget about the negative there. Now notice I have nothing but 1's in the denominator, so this can now be simplified to a minus. 5xyz. Okay, so those are fairly straightforward. We just simply look for things that are common in the numerator and the denominator and then canceling them out. But now when you see something like our next problem, it's not a straightforward. In this case, we probably want to go ahead and try to factor the numerator and see if we can simplify something. And if I look at that, I recognize that as being the difference of squares, so I can write that as a product of two binomials. Matter of fact, I can write this as x plus 4 times x minus 4. And of course, I still have my denominator x minus 4. And then you realize, ah, I have an x minus 4 in the numerator, I have an x minus 4 in the denominator. I can cancel those out. It becomes 1 and 1. And so this is equal to simply x plus 4. Looking at the next problem, it looks very similar, so let's try that. This looks like the difference of squares, so I can write this as an x plus 5 times an x minus 5, and divide this by a 5 minus x. Now you say, well, okay, here I must stop because I don't see something common in the numerator and denominator. However, if you were to flip these around, then you could see the commonality. Of course, you can just go ahead and flip that around. What you can do is you can multiply the numerator by negative 1 and multiply the denominator by negative 1. Now, I'm only going to apply the negative 1 here to the denominator. I'm going to leave it like that in the numerator. So nothing has changed yet as far as the value of that expression. So I can now write this as uh, x plus 5 times an x minus 5 times a minus 1 divided by when I apply this, negative 1, this becomes a minus 5 and I apply this over here, that becomes a plus x. And then if I rearrange that, just so you can see that this is really the same as that, I can write this as x plus 5 times x minus 5 times a minus 1, all divided by an x minus 5. And now I can see that this cancels out that, so this is a 1, this is a 1. And now I have a negative 1 times x plus 5, so I can write this as negative 1 times x plus 5. Or, if you like it better, you can write this as minus x minus 5. Either way, it's the same answer, and that's a simplified form of that expression. All right, now we're ready to do some a little bit more complicated examples of rational expressions, how to simplify them. So let's get started on those. 